Okay, uh, let's uh, talk about the antennas. Okay, so this is the first or the introduction for the uh, midterm coverage. No? Focus tayo ngayon sa antennas and its application and also its concept. Okay, so first we define what is antenna. Antenna is a passive device. Pag sinabing passive, it can operate without any voltage source. Okay, and a transceiver device. Pag sinabing transceiver device, it can transmit a signal and also it can receive signal. And uh, also, it is used to radiate ra radio frequency wave or radio frequency signal. Okay, pa paano ba nag-work si antenna? Okay, simple lang naman. No? If we have a radio frequency source, no? ito, and connect tayo ng two conductors, and ang gawin natin dun sa two conductors is ibuka natin. Okay? Yan. Such that, yung radiating elements, itong uh, mga to, is naka uh, parallel or or not parallel no uh, parang 180 degrees sila sa isa't isa okay so nangyayari kasi pagka ganyan yung ating orientation nung uh, nung uh, nung conductor no and mayroon tayong radio frequency source is nangyayari diyan yung EM signal or yung radio frequency signal coming from the source is nagre-radiate yan to the space through the uh, free space Okay, so iyan yung uh, iyan yung concept behind the antenna kung bakit si antenna nakakapag transmit at nakakapag receive ng signal or ng mga EM waves na hindi naman natin nakikita. Obviously ang EM waves or yung mga waves doon sa electromagnetic spectrum hindi naman natin nakikita no unless it is in the visible light spectrum. Okay, yun lang yung mga nakikita natin. Okay, but uh, below the uh, or doon sa pinakauna ng electromagnetic spectrum okay ito yung mga frequencies na hindi natin nakikita which is ito yung mga EM field or yung mga radio frequency waves na ginagamit natin no for uh, for uh, radio broadcasting uh, uh, application for uh, cell phone application no so yan yun yung mga yung mga frequency na hindi natin nakikita okay so uh, the basic antenna system has the uh, four uh, uh, parts no or block. The first is the, the transmitter and uh, the coupling device and the feeder and last is the antenna. So visually, ito yung itsura niya. Okay? So, si transmitter obviously, siya yung nagtatransmit ng signal. Nandyan yung uh, ating radio frequency source or yung EM source natin. So, si coupling uh, device naman or antenna coupling coil Ang, um, ang um, responsible naman niya is uh, to match the impedance of the transmitter at saka nung ating feeder. It's because pag hindi match yung impedance, hindi natin maka-achieve yung maximum power transfer. So, hindi natin gusto yun. No? Kailangan, as much as possible, ma-achieve natin yung maximum power transfer. Okay? So, si feeder, obviously, dito sa ating uh, illustration, siya yung nag-feed ng signal from the transmitter papunta dun sa antenna. Siya yung pinaka-bridge. Okay? So, si antenna naman, siya yung uh, responsible for ra radiating the RF signal into free space. Okay? So, yung parts ng antenna natin, no, focus tayo dito sa part na to. Yung pinaka-dulo dyan, yan yung tinatawag na feeder point. And yung dalawang element na to is called the radiating element. So, the feeder point, ito yung center ng ating antenna. Okay? It is the point where the transmission line is attached and the signal is fed. Okay? So, yung radiating elements naman, ito yung, uh, ito yung elements wherein they are responsible for radiating the EM radiation. No? Parang katulad na sinabi ko kanina. Okay? So, uh, uh, we have two types of radiating elements. No? The first type is the driven element and the second type is the parasitic element. So, the, the driven element is the element wherein it is attached to the feeder point and also the transmitter is fed directly to it. Okay, papakita ko sa inyo doon sa ating third lecture kung ano ba yung itsura ng driven element at saka anong parasitic element. Sa parasitic element naman, uh, it is located near the driven element wherein it gets power to it. Okay? So, si parasitic, meron na namang uh, dalawang types yan, no? but not all antenna, antennas merong director and merong reflector. No? Some of the types of antennas merong director and some of the uh, 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 antennas is wala namang director no? and also sa reflector. Okay? So, ano, bang, an, ano ba to si director? No? Si director, if the parasitic element is used to reinforce, pag sinabing reinforce, 
si director conductor sa parasitic or dun sa ating uh, antena is parang itututok natin sa isang direction. Uh, parang gusto natin siyang itutok sa isang direction wherein dun lang siya magre-radiate ng signal. Okay, pagka ganun yung, yung application ng parasitic element, ang tawag sa kanya is director. Okay, and pag naman yung parasitic element is ginamit para mag-reflect away ng maximum radiation energy and towards to the director, okay, ang tawag naman doon is reflector. Okay? So, um, we move on to the theoretical antennas. Okay? The first uh, type of theoretical antenna is called the isotropic antenna. So, itong isotropic antenna na, na to is wala talagang nag exist na, na gantong type ng antenna. No? So, mamaya ako explain kung bakit ba mayroong isotropic antenna. So, isotropic antenna is sometimes called as the isotropic radiator. It's a theoretical non-existing ideal antenna wherein it radiates EM wave omnidirectional. Okay? Ibig sabihin sa lahat ng direction. Okay? Um, bakit ba mayroong ganito? Saan ba siya ginagamit? Ano bang use ni isotropic antenna? So, ginagamit siya basically no, for reference lang on other antennas for computing gains. Okay? And um, yung gain ng isotropic antenna is 1 and pag kinuha natin yung decibel nun is 0 dBi. I stands for isotropy. Okay? So the effective area for the isotropic is equals to the lambda squared over 4 pi. No? Alam nyo naman yung uh, formula ng lambda. Uh, lambda is equals to the speed of light C divided by the frequency. Okay? Next or last, I think this is the last one for theoretical antennas, is called the Hertzian dipole. So Hertzian dipole is a type of theoretical antenna that its length is very short than the wavelength. No, walang exact na measurement, pero si Hertzian dipole, theoretically or in concept, pin, mas maliit siya sa wavelength, yung size niya. Okay, o nga pala, no? bakit ba wavelength yung, uh, yung mga nakikita nyo dito na measurement? Okay, normally or most common na ginagamit na, na, na parameter or equation para mag-compute ng length ng isang antenna is the wavelength. Okay, so yun, yun lang yung reason kung bakit uh, sa mga libro and sa mga, sa mga design, sa mga libro na nag-design ng mga antenna, madalas na nakikita nyo dun is uh, yung measurement is naka-wavelength. Okay. So, sometimes called uh, the Hertzian dipole as the elementary doublet antenna. So, ito naman, ang gain nito is 1.75. And pag kinuha natin yung, uh, yung kanyang uh, logarithm is 1.76 decibel. Okay? 